This is the Atto with Zach. And TT for the Millwall Drive Home reporting on the game that just finished at the John Smith Stadium. It finished Huddersfield Town nil. Millwall won. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And yes again. A battling performance, a game of very few chances. But three points are massive at this stage of the season. You know, we were gradually making our way towards the bottom three. And that's now put us nine points away from, from, from those positions. And wins in the championship are hard to come by. And we put ourselves on the line today. You know, every, every single player battled and worked hard. And yes, lacked quality at times. But, a f you know, it's all we ask for as Millwall fans. Is that if the quality isn't going to be quite there. And there's been talk about Millwall type players. And what's a Millwall player on on Twitter and I know the Mill podcast has been saying it. it's been it's been all over the place but all Mill fans want to see is if we don't have the quality individual quality because I want to see quality I want to see players that you know a Mill type player can have ability on the ball but you've got to work hard you've got to back up your teammates you've got to track the runner you've got to close down the angles those are all prerequisites of playing football for any team never just my Millwall and we've done it very, very well today. Before we go any further, if you like the video, please stick a like on it. A win deserves a like. But put your comments in below. And it's, you know, the comments that we get on this channel are absolutely fantastic. The time that you guys go to, to put in what you think really adds to the Millwall story and the Millwall family. And this is why I absolutely love what me and Zach do. And we, and we really appreciate the time and effort that you do putting in the comments a few Forest fans said that um, we uh, they were the best team we'd ever seen. And I think they lost today. So funny how football goes. We had a very changed lineup. We started with Barton goal, a back three of Cooper, Hutchinson, Ryan Leonard. Not playing right back, playing a right centre back position. Before I go, go any further, played an absolute blinder, Ryan Leonard. You know, really, really good. Um, got, even driving forward, getting us out the back. But obviously his pass is going to be excellent. More importantly, defensively, I thought he was uh, fantastic. Wing back, Scott Malone, left wing back. Danny McNamara, again, who you know, is quickly becoming my favourite player. Right wing back. The two midfield pairing, I was a little bit concerned about this, Woods and Williams, um, worked tirelessly, to be fair. Control on the ball. You know, Williams less so. Woods sprayed the ball well, made a few tackles, got himself booked. Um, and I'll come on to ref watch in a little while because without that... Uh, lemon it would have been a little bit more comfortable in front of Woods and Williams we had Tomo playing behind basically a front two in Jed, uh, Jed Wallace and, and John Daddy Budfarson Tomo come in today and epitomised the effort and the work rate I think he was playing on ice skates because he kept slipping over you, just I, you, I don't know you said it Do, oh. does he have on slippers yeah. like literally he was going all over the place but he's, he worked tirelessly but he did show a lack of composure a lack of I don't know, a lack of quality really uh, uh, on a number of occasions, but makes up for it with the energy, makes up for it with the desire. You know, that's what you want. That is, if you're not going to get one, you damn well bet, better get the other. And, and, and Tom, I brought that to the team today. We started on the front foot, you know, straight up and at them. Good passing plays, good interplay in, in between the middle. And Huddersfield, I don't think they were probably expecting the formation that we played. We weren't either. But it was a great turn by Tomo on the edge of the box, um, got into the box and then, and then made a mistake. And that was, uh, you know, epitomised his game, really. It was a, a microcosm of what he'd done. Um, but we had more attacking intent straight away. You know, players in the final third. You know, we were attacking with six or seven players. It makes so much of a difference. If you don't win a ball, the ball gets played out, you get to win the second ball. You keep the pressure on. And it makes a difference so, so often if you can, if you can attack... In numbers, obviously, once you take the lead, it's a slightly different story. The goal was, you know, an absolutely superb bit of play by both wing-backs. You know, Malone takes the corner, it comes back out to Danny McNamara, who, what I loved, you know, so many players that are, that are on the halfway line, the ball comes to them, they then put the ball straight back into the mixer. What he'd done so well, used the space in front of him, and I've been saying it time and time and time again, week in, week out, you got space in front of you. Use it. Danny McNamara did. Ran in... It's a 10-yard run. He's, he's not running the whole length of the pitch. 10-yard run creates an angle for a fantastic...
ball into the box. And mark my words, it was a fantastic ball into the to, to the back post where Scott Malone so is is shadowed in. And let's make no bones about it. It was a fantastic finish with his left foot, curled it off straight first time off the inside of the uh, left post into the back of the net. So you have the right right back to the left back from the left side to the right side. Perfect play, perfect win back play, and it shows you attacking attempt, even though it was from a corner. And I loved it from the McNamara. What a great ball in it was. From then on, you know, Huddersfield then and it stepped up the game a little bit. Um, Cooper has done a silly foul on the edge of the box. It didn't really need to, to, to put it. You remember where the free kick went? Um, off oh, the top right. Of the, oh, yeah, right, right at the top to the of the wall. wall. And that's one thing, you know. Um, We've got Tommy staying with us, and he, uh, Tom says we've got a massive wall. You know, if, if if so close to the edge of the box, twenty yards out, you've got to get it over the wall, and 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 it's going to be difficult with with the height we've got in there. It does come off the top of the wall. Then the big decision of the of the first half, Thompson, you know, collides a little bit with the with the Huddersfield player running in. For me, it's not a penalty. I, I cannot see how it is a penalty. 15th it, minute. 15th minute, 50-50, I felt that, you know, so minimal contact. And if, if that was going to give us a, a, a foul, there'd be, it'd be fouls all over the pitch. And to be fair, he gave quite a few of them to Huddersfield. Yeah. It was time and time and time again. It was gave very us stupid. Nothing. Um, clumsy at worst by Tomo, but I personally didn't think it was a penalty. No way. Up steps uh, Fraser Campbell, puts the ball on and tries to be too precise with it, hits the bar and out it goes. And, and for me, just that was justice, you know. Didn't deserve to be a penalty. That keeps us at 1-0. We were celebrating as well. So massive at that stage because we'd had a good start to the game. If we'd have gone 1-1, it would have been a massive deflation of the, of the players, of the fans, even though we're not there, and of the management team. But it, that keeps us in the game. And then, and then, you know, what I really liked was the fact that, you know, Jed and Tom, Jed today much better, you know, uh, Far more determined. The energy levels is always there with Jed, but I felt that he was making better decisions, running on the ball more, running direct. And he played a little ball into Tomo, turned in the box, laid it back to Jed, who drilled it across the six-yard box, uh, but it was blocked, it was cleared out. But that showed, again, getting players further forward gives us more of an opportunity. 26th minute, good move by Huddersfield, down the right side, plays in Bakuna, who then drills it across the... Uh, across the goal, misses by quite a way. But it was about two meters. Yeah, he, he missed missed by by quite a bit. Then probably the only save that Bart has to make in the entire game is made in the twenty or thirty second minute. Sorry, Ward gets the ball on about the penalty spot level, spins on it, drills it near post. Bart makes a comfortable save, but he still has to make it. But that's all he has to do in the entire game. And considering Huddersfield had a ridiculous amount of possession, you know, we sat back and absorbed the pressure. But they they were so slow going forward. You know, the amount of times the ball went to Keo to Saar, Saar to Keo, it was just, there was, you know, you could see the manager on the sidelines. They, you've got to get the ball forward. And they just couldn't because the, the picking up of the runners was fantastic by the players. You know, I think it was helped by the fact that Leonard Stair has got the he's got the energy to be able to close down the areas and the wing back the wing backs picked up the right players. So they'd press if it went out wide, but then they'd let they'd follow someone else and let the Ben Thompson or Ryan Woods breast the ball and it makes so much of a difference. That half time comes and goes. Huddersfield didn't have a chance, the first chance of the second half and it's put over by Aaron's when he probably should have done a little bit better. Um then we obviously, 60th minute, another refereeing decision, or I think it was made by the linesman. If I personally think if that's happened in our area, it's going to be given as a oh, goal. yes. The ball comes in. First of all, Tom Bradshaw is absolutely wiped out. Let's make no doubt about he it. He literally He's gets shoved, shoved right over at the near post. The ball then drops, it bounces around, drops out to, I think it was... Um, it was Malone. Malone, who then puts it into Leonard. Leonard... The keeper, because of where it had, he punched out in the first place, him and Cooper had landed on. Uh, Cooper had landed on top of the keeper. No, the keeper, keeper landed, landed on, on top, top of Cooper. Cooper. Cooper's trying to get up, and then the keeper's trying to get up. They're both jostling with each other. To be fair, Cooper holds him a little bit longer than the keeper yeah. holds him, but it's 50 50. Drops to Leonard, Leonard puts it in, and the linesman gives it. And Malone didn't actually pass to Leonard, it was a, a shot, shot at the keeper, then and bounced, then it bounced back. It bounced back, and, and it's, it's one of those things where if it if it goes again, if it goes for you, you you really feel like it's a little bit of luck. Does he have hold of him? Yes. Did they have hold of each other? Yes. 
Obviously, it normally goes to the goalkeeper, but it's always going to go against us. And I know I sound like I'm sour grapes, and but no one likes us, and and it and it and it really it does tell win games like this. You know, we got absolutely nothing from that ref today, nothing. So, but we battled hard, and and like I said, would would I say we deserve to win the game? Yes, because we battled defensively really well, got the goal, and Huddersfield had very few chances. Just before the subs were made in the second half, you know, Jed Wallace gets the ball, gets around a couple of players, gets the ball played out for a corner. Then we make the four subs. I felt like they were a little bit late, if I'm honest. You know, people can say about time wasting. The trainer wasn't on in the second half. If we go one, if a team goes one new up at the den, players stay down. They, 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 the trainer comes on two or three times. Four minutes of injury time because we weren't wasting time that well. Yes, obviously, a few throw ins and a few goal kicks, but considering what happens against us, if, if we're one, it's nothing. It, it was absolutely nothing. Um, Matt Namora comes off, obviously picked up a booking. Jed comes off, J-Bod comes off, Williams comes off. Fergie comes on, I thought he had uh, a lot of energy. Romeo comes on, again, a lot of energy. Put himself in the right positions, which was good to see. Zahor and Bradshaw both came up and played the two forward positions and, and closed the ball down well. And to be fair, what Zahor done well a couple of times, got hold of the ball, battled people off, showed yeah, his strength. He was, he was on the ball dribbling for about... 30 seconds but the good thing was that he was making his body wide trying to push players up uh, shoulder to shoulder players off that was trying to get the ball who's your man of the match today oh that's that's a hard one i would say leonard f f nowhere near his position was pl he played amazingly because he's not used to that position whatsoever i it's so hard. Today. Mine will either be, you know, I, I'm really loving Danny McNamara. Great assist for the goal. Um, great energy. Didn't put a foot out of place. You know, a couple of good tackles. Obviously picked up the book in. Um, but for me, it's Ryan Leonard as well. I, I felt that he played that position really well. Um, and it's not it's not easy to do. You know, you tell a centre midfielder you've got to play centre back. It's it's a different kettle of fish. And, he, and I felt like he handled it very well. But overall, it was a good performance from the Lions. And... Something that is, is something to build on. It means nothing really in the grand scheme of things if you can't then take it forward and start building on this. We're getting players back from injury. We're going to get a full squad. Hopefully, we can still make a couple of signings. You know, the manager shows again today that he hasn't lost the dressing room and that it doesn't change the fact. A win doesn't change the fact that he's under a lot of pressure. Two wins in sixteen is not great. Is not a great record. But Especially it's, in the championship when there's a lot of teams winning most of the games as but well. But it's two wins in 16 is better than one win in 16. So, you know, it's something to build on. The players showed that they're playing for the manager. Um, the manager sh uh, changed it up a bit today and we've done enough to win the game, like I said, in, in my opinion. We've got Bristol City at home in the Cup um, on Saturday, 3 o'clock kickoff, which we'll obviously Please. do it at home at. And then... Our next league game at home to, uh, sorry, away to Watford, which is obviously going to be a very difficult game. And I expect us to play something similar to what we did today. Yeah. I absolutely am buzzing with a free, with three points. It makes me so happy. Thank you very much for watching the Mule Drive Home with Zach and CT. No one likes us. We don't care.